Hello? Hi, this is Jeff. I'm calling from the... Um, would this be Brandon? Yes. Uh, yeah, you ordered the three medium pizzas, two hand-tossed? Yes. Okay, right. You haven't received those pizzas yet, right? No, I have not. Okay, good. Um, we're actually not going to be delivering them out to you anyways because we saw some of your social media f posts. Um, you know, we just don't appreciate the type of character you are. We decided we're not going to deal with the bigoted scumfuck like yourself. And I take pleasure in telling Wait, you this sorry. personally. Wait, come again? Sorry, we're picking out. Because we saw your social media posts, and I, we've decided that we're not going to do business with a bigot like you. You know, you're just a terrible fucking person, and I take pleasure in getting to tell you this personally. Is this a joke right now? I'm calling from the You could check the caller ID. You saw my social media post. That's right, and you're just a piece of shit. We're not going to be dealing with people like you. This has to be yeah. a joke right now. I mean, do you, do you even have a family? Are you just ordering those three medium pizzas for yourself? Because you're just a sad fat ass? You're going to eat them? And cry yourself to sleep? <laughs> it's just too many bigoted pieces Sir, of I, shit I, assholes I, in this I have world. Never, I have never posted anything on my social media or anything. I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you've never made a social media post, huh? Okay, are who you, are you trying are, to are, fool? Are you at... Are you at... Are you at I'm at... Yes. And I, we're name? not going to be delivering to someone like you. I mean, no, I don't even know why I'm you thought... I'm coming in. What, what is your name? Oh, what, what are you going to do? You can't threaten me. What is your name? I don't have to tell you my name, motherfucker. What are you going to come in and do? You going to shoot up the place? <laughs> Dude, We're going to have the police on the guard. Right now. You think this is a fucking joke? You... We don't know. Like, I mean, we don't appreciate people like Brandon. You think he can just make social media posts about, oh, those Domino's employees, they sure are a bunch of black half ass working. Oh, I don't even want to get into it. I have never posted anything about Domino's or anything. You posted so about our employees. <laughs> Well, we saw it, and we're not gonna. You're not gonna be getting that pizza. In fact, okay, we actually no. charged your credit card. You know what? What is your name? Well, I don't have to disclose my name because you're basically a piece of shit, and I can just use my <laughs> own. You calling me all these names? So you know what? I'm coming in, and honestly, I'm I'm not happy. This is. Oh, you're not gonna right come now. into our fucking store, bitch. I mean, we're going to have the police on guard. Anyone named Brandon? Oh, no, you're not. Oh, no, you're not, because Brandon... <laughs> He's going to the... <laughs> oh, he's calling back. Yes, how could I help you? Oh, is this Brandon? Yeah, I see the caller ID. Uh, hey, uh, buddy, uh, you know, I just want you to know that if you show up, the police are going to arrest you on site because your social media posts were actually threatening. No, 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 I am okay with that because this is the wrong person. I am not the, this, I've never posted anything. So I would like to have your address and I would like for you to bring the police along too. Hey, even if you didn't post it, the fact that I'm telling you not to come to our property and you do so anyway, you're going to get arrested regardless. I just, I just ordered pizza. I'm trying to see my family right now. And you are harassing me, cussing at me, calling me. I am not. I'm just giving you your just desserts. You know, sir, no, 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 you're the one who's being a bigot. You have been cussing me out this whole time and I was nothing but calm. And, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy. I know, it is crazy. Yeah, Someone like you thinks they could talk shit on our, our, you know, we happen to be, we pride ourselves on our diversity of our employment staff, and you're just going to take to social media and say, oh, Domino's, they hire a bunch of racial slow this, racial slow that. It's disgusting. Sir, I, I'm not racist. I did not post that. I'm trying to tell you this. I order from Domino's all the time. I do not. Okay. I, oh, my God, dude, this is ridiculous. I mean, you're just trying to, obviously, I mean, we saw it was from Brandon 
so you're obviously just saying that so you can have our pizza. But there are many, there are many Brennan Just go get your shoes, I'll pull up right here. There are many Brennan It's It's not okay. me. I've never seen Well, it's so in the same town, same phone office. number. You know what, I could just look at, um, I could just look at what, um, what, what location I, I ordered this from. And I'll be you there. You know what? Early. Do you want to speak with the general manager? Yeah. All right, just hold on. I'll put you on the phone with him. One second. All of our representatives are currently assisting oh, other customers. Please stay on the line oh, while our team tries to correct your situation. Praying in the rain. Oh, praise Jesus. This ain't your name. Come inside of me, Jesus. Come inside of me. Come inside of me. The sword of truth. Oh, he hung up. God damn it. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, Brandon, you know, I don't appreciate you hanging up on me. I mean, we put you on hold and now the general yeah, manager is busy. Here with right now. They're at my house. Oh, really? So Let who me are put you? them on the phone. Let me speak to them. Who are you? Who are this is you? Jeff. Hello? Uh, I'm, it's okay, because I'm just going to report your number to the police. Do it, sir. I, I, I anticipate it. Oh, God damn it. He hung up now. Yes. Uh, yes, I got a call. Oh, right. Is this Andreas? Yeah, I'm calling from the... Yeah. Because he, apparently, um, you know, the delivery driver who dropped off your pizza, um, let me check. This is the 18 drive? Correct, yes. Okay, yeah. That that driver, he's complaining of sexual harassment. So uh, there's a case filed against you. I'm just letting you know, uh, you know, he didn't appreciate how sexually forward you were. And um, he's going to be pressing charges. Wait, What? Um, just the way you were sexually looking at him and making him feel uncomfortable, uh, he didn't take kindly to that. Um, so he's pressing charges. I just wanted to call to get your side of the story. Uh, I'm very sorry, but there's been a huge misunderstanding. I didn't at all try saying or looking in any uncomfortable way. I simply came out of my house, thanked him for the pizza, uh, and signed the the paper. I gave him a five dollar tip, I, or four dollar tip. I I thought I was just being oh. genial. Okay, I, I mean, I'd hate for no you to be dishonest with me. You know, the employees they do wear cameras. There's actually a new incident that occurred. Uh, one of our employees he had actually attacked one of the customers, and that were required to wear cameras on our uniform. And you know, we did inspect his security fa camera, and you know, just the way you were talking to him and you definitely were trying to um get get to him sexually like in a seductive manner um he didn't take kindly to that and i don't appreciate you being dishonest here trying to get off the hook and you know we've uh, got the police that, involved could you have actually do you have a transcript of what was said because that is actually very confusing to me i i didn't i really am confused right now so i'd like to see if oh you clearly you're confused i mean you're hitting on other men i mean you should just follow the Bible. I mean, you're going to end up in hell for your sins, you dirty homosexual. I mean, why would you? Of course you're confused. You don't have to tell me twice. Are you sure this is calling from... Um, well, you could check your caller ID. It's the... We have your information. Um, 18... Drive. I could give, show you your pizza order. I don't know where else this would be. So, you know, yeah. Um, you're a dirty sinner. And you're just reprobate... Homosexuals are going to hell. Who's, who's calling? My name is Jeff. You know, I actually take pleasure in telling you this personally because I am a pastor at a Christian church. And, you know, I just want to let you know that if you don't get right with Jesus and stop sucking that dick every day, you're going to end up in hell right where reprobate like you I belong. Completely... Hey, Jack, Jack, you know what? I know how you feel right now. I know how you feel. And I'm really sorry. What, sorry, what's your last name? My name is Jeff McClellan, and I can't imagine you actually know how I feel. I mean, I'm a 
Christian God following believer, you know, I, I profess the word of God and, you know, here I have right in front of me what the Bible says is an uh, abomination. You're a homosexual and then you're trying to justify the fact that you harassed our employee, my friend. I don't accept this. Jack McQuilly. Um, and you know what? I, I really, I do know how you feel because I've, I've been in those same shoes where I've, I've been approached by people and it's made me uncomfortable. And like I, I, for a long time, I had struggles dealing with my own sexuality and trying to figure out who I was. Um, and I, I struggled with that a lot. I used to be Catholic. I used to be Catholic and I was Christian. Oh, of course you would have to turn away from your faith. Like, I don't want to hear any more of this deplorable filth, okay? How you turn down religion to take up a life of deviant homosexuality, okay? I don't want to hear any more of this, all right? I'm just going to send your information over to the police, and they'll be dealing with you, you scum, fuck, reprobate, and I hate you. I'm really sorry you feel that way, Jack. I hope that you find the love of Jesus in your heart, and then he teaches you a better way. Because hating people... Is not what Jesus came down to tell us to, what to do. That's not his message. But his message is for you I, to sexually harass our employees. You know that this I, is what I the thing with. I definitely didn't mean to, and I I really am sorry that he felt that way because honestly, all I wanted for him was to have a really nice New Year's, and I thanked him for the pizza. I'm really sorry that you guys feel that way, and I understand if you'll go to the police. Go ahead and do whatever. Well, makes you know, you there is the right one thing we could do. Um, I have a you know. This is just like a money type situation. There's actually a friend of mine, and I am an impoverished person. You know, I don't, his job isn't too good. I work at Pizza Hut. And he was actually going to make me an offer, um, you know, because he is a homosexual like you. And normally I don't succumb to these kind of devious offers, but um, I actually do need the money. And, you know, if you send him a picture of your genitals, um, he'll give me some money because, you know, he's into that sort of thing. So if you do that, then we'll dismiss these charges. Sure. I understand what you mean, Jack, but I'm afraid I can't do that. I have to be go by the, the police. I have to go by the, the justice system and do things as they're intended to. So um, I'm going to have to ask you to please go ahead and file your report, um, and I will deal with the consequences as they come. Okay, so you're not going to take up my friend's offer? I mean, I, I just tried to make peace with you, you know, that my friend, he's a homosexual like yourself, you know, some common ground, and, you know, you're, it seems like you're just trying to be a snob here, you know, I'm giving you a way to get off the hook. Just text him a picture Jack, of your genitals, Jack, I'll give you the phone Jack, number. I, Jack, I, I, I have your phone number. I'm just letting you know that right now you're putting yourself in a pretty incriminating position because you are essentially asking me to forego a legal system for essentially what is a sexual favor. I could get you arrested for this, and I suggest that you don't try pushing your buttons and that you don't call me again because I know. Well, actually, you're the one who's going to be arrested. I have actually, incriminating no evidence on you, and I'm just giving you a way to get I, off no, the hook. Actually, you don't because I am making it clear to you right now that I know your game and that you actually don't have any evidence on me. You are trying to harass me and trying to get a picture of my genitals for yourself because you are repressed homosexual, and you would really like to see that. Um, but I have your okay. number. Okay, I mean, so if that's what you want to believe. Try anything. Are you serious? I mean, um, you're not even going to... I'm going to... Yes, I'm going to get the police involved. Now, and I'm going to recommend that you do not call me again, or I will be reporting you to the authorities. Thank you very much, Jack. I really have do hope that day. you have a nice, happy... Yes, have a great, happy... The police will be dealing uh, with you shortly. And I wish you the best. Bye-bye.